Okay, so today we're going to be learning about the word proportional and trying to figure out what proportional means. Um, the definition your book gives you so far, as far as proportional goes, is that something is proportional if it has a constant unit rate or a unit rate that always will simplify down to the same thing. So if I look at this, some people say, well, it's really organized. I mean, look at this. If you go up one here, you go up one here, you go up one here, and you just go up two here, up two here, up two here. So every time you go up one on the top, you go up two on the bottom. So a lot of people say, well, that's got to be proportional because look how organized it is. Going up one the whole way, going up two, are there patterns? The answer is yes, there are patterns, but we need to check to see if it's proportional. To check to see if it's proportional, we're going to be looking at that unit rate to see if that is always the same. So first of all, which one makes more sense? Orders per dollar or dollars per order? You've heard me say that dollars generally is on top. So let's go ahead and do it in that order. Dollars per order. So if I divide 8 by 1, I get 8. That is $8 per order. I'm going to skip that, the labeling part. We're just going to find that for everything else. I would put 10 over 2, and that would end up being $5 per order. I put 12 over 3, and you end up having $4 per order. Now if I put 14 over 4, I end up with $3.5 per order. So although it looked organized as far as horizontally and additionally, it is not proportional, because proportional really isn't an addition concept, it's a multiplication concept. So not proportional would be my answer on that. That was not proportional. Let me show you another one. Take it to the price. Does this one look nearly as organized? This, by the way, they will look organized sometimes, but this is not organized. Plus one, and then it's plus three, and then it's plus four. Ugh. They doubled it this time. They didn't double it that time. I don't know what's going on here. So it doesn't look organized. So a lot of people say, well, it's not, not proportional then. But what we need to do is we don't check it out horizontally. We don't check it out with addition, what we're adding, and things like that. We check it out by its unit rate. So once again, price per ticket makes more sense, so let me do that. 4.5 divided by 1 is 4.5, and we're in money, so it would be $4.50 per ticket. Once again, I won't label the rest, I just want to show you the concept. Let me try that again. 9 divided by 2. 9 divided by 2 is 4.5. 22.5 divided by 5 is 4.5. 40.5 divided by 9 is 4.5. Has exactly the same unit rate. When taking down the 1, they all simplify down to a unit rate of $4.50 per ticket. So although it didn't look organized necessarily, we looked at it properly as a unit rate, and they all match. That is what we call proportional. Okay? That's what we call proportional. So I want to give you a little bit better definition than what I think your book says. Um, when I talk about 